Hello dear students and welcome to DAV Moyle Public School. Let's start our today's online session of Standard 9th. In today's session we will revise Unit 1 Number System and in that today we will see what are the different types of numbers forms the number system and the representation of irrational numbers on the number line. See, all the real numbers can be represented on the number line. Numbers line representing the natural numbers, numbers line representing the whole number, and then numbers line representing the rational number. All the numbers can be represented on the number. But there are some numbers which we cannot write in the form of a rational number. So that numbers are called the irrational numbers. So the numbers which are not rational numbers are called irrational numbers. So number S is called the rational numbers if it is cannot written in the form of P by Q where P and Q are the integers and Q not equal to 0. So root 2, root 3, root 5, root 7, root 11 are some of the examples of irrational numbers. Now the decimal expansion of the rational number you have seen many questions we solved already is of terminating or non-terminating repeating time means either the decimal expansion of a rational number is terminate means the remainder 0 or not terminate but the digits will re repeat see here 2.34367 it is a terminating next one is 0 0.129129 129. so here 129 is repeating and in the third example 001 is the repeating so these are the examples of rational numbers but the decimal expansion of irrational number is non-terminating and non-repeating type. If you will see the two examples here, neither the division stops that is not terminating nor the sum digits are repeating here. So these are the examples of decimal expansion of the irrational numbers. Now see here it forms the real number system. First the natural number then whole numbers if you include 0 in the natural number it forms the system of whole number negative of natural numbers then it forms the pink circle integers then rational numbers and the numbers which are not rational numbers are the irrational numbers see here real numbers divided into the rational numbers and irrational numbers rational numbers are further divided into non integers rational numbers and integers integers are further divided into negative numbers and the whole numbers and then the whole numbers further divided into zero and the natural number so this is the whole real number system presentation of irrational numbers on the number line here the number is 3.9 means we have to take one centimeter more means 4.9 centimeter distance so see i am taking four 0.9 we have to represent 3.9 but I am taking 4.9 dis distance so it is 4.91 more so if you want to locate your 3.9 you can locate this so this C point is 3.9 centimeter distance AC is 3.9 centimeter now we will find out the perpendicular bisector of this line segment and you are aware in the lesson construction we have studied so this is the perpendicular bisector of AB which is 4.9 now with this radius see here this is the radius draw a semicircle which joins A and B now C point is already there so with C we have to draw 90 degree angle with the so I am drawing a straight line it comes exactly 90 degree so it is 90 degree angle now take this as a distance and also you have to extend the line AB now. Now take this distance, give name as CD. And with CD as a radius, 
draw the arc which cut the line AB into some point and that point represents root 3.9. Now here C means 0, C means 0 and B means 1 and so on. So you can locate 0, this is 0, 1, C here 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 like this you can also locate your points. So this is how to represent any rational number. Initially if the number is 3.9 you have to take the line segment plus 1 centimeter means 4.9. If the number is 3, 4 centimeter you have to draw line segment. If the number is 4.5 you have to draw line segment of 5.5 and then proceed. So here are some examples based on the representation of the number line in rational numbers and irrational numbers. So it is a revision assignment dear students. Try to solve at home. Thank you. Have a nice day.